Guys, Blue Yoshi here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we fought Bowser and we claimed the bedroom, and we can fight Bowser again. Yeah, technically, we can save Peach already, but you know what? We're not going to because well, we're gonna complete this game. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, today we are going into our next, uh, our next place that we can go here, our next dome, which is going to be the engine room, as Miss Luma is going to tell us right now, but yeah, so, the engine room, it's our next, it's our next, uh, dome here, and yeah, so let's get this, let's get this started here. We have discovered an enemy base in this region, my gosh. We can already find that boss already. We have so many stars. So many. There are like, uh, 121, I want to say, uh, stars in this game. I don't know. Something like that. So we still have a lot of stars to get to, you, but... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so... We have five galaxies here today. Gee, I wonder which one we're going to be doing. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing the one with the least amount of stars. We're going to be going to the Golden Leaf Galaxy here. And collect all five of its stars today. So, let's fly to this galaxy and get this party started. Today I'm here with my brother Micah. Yeah, Micah! He's gonna help me commentate here as we hunt some star bunnies here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, now if you couldn't already tell, the Gold Leaf Galaxy it's essentially just honey hive galaxy, but we skinned yes. and flipped on its horizontal axis. <laughs> like, if you look at it, it's it's a blade didn't drip off. I don't know if it's a lip off or like they did this, you know, just just because. But I, I don't know. I, I think it's I, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's at least a galaxy that I will remember from a kid, from being a kid. So, I can give it that much. Anyways, so we do have, uh, we do have some, some blue star chips that this bunny wants us to grab here. Uh, yeah, this is Micah's favorite galaxy in this town. It just looks so beautiful here. It reminds me of the autumn, you know. Okay, let's see if we can grab this now. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, our second one. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pound these pegs in, okay, and then uh, if we can get this last one here, uh, then we can go into this stall here and grab our second blue star chip. And then our third one, uh, what you're gonna have to do is just uh, use your use your jump here to go into that sling star and go up here. So yeah. Um, excuse me, game. But yeah, so that's our third one. Now, if you're looking for your fourth one, uh, well, you're gonna have to go down here, uh, down to this, uh, I wanna say, mid-level, uh, I don't know, I don't know, whatever you call this. What? Yeah, a waterfall, I guess, I don't know. And then our fifth one is gonna be, uh, on the right side of it. Now, quickly, I do wanna make mention to something here. Now, uh, if you use your camera, um, okay, uh, excuse me, game, I would like to use my camera at the moment. Uh, you can see this thing in the bottom right corner here. I was confused by that, why this thing was even here. And, well, I'm gonna answer your questions, but you know what? I'm gonna make you wait for it! Ha! <laughs> How to increase watch time on a YouTube video. Ha ha, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, we will be covering that later, and I think it'll just make more sense once we actually talk about uh, what that thing leads to. 
<laughs> but, um, yeah. I did think it was quite interesting the first time I saw it. And, well, I'm gonna leave you guys on the cliffhanger on that note. Anyways. So, yeah, our fifth and last blue star chip that we need to grab here is White Heel. You just need to go to the very top of this and jump on that spring. And that will allow you to grab your final star chip. And now we can fly over here. Okay. Going to the star. Here we go. Okay, so now our next part that we need to do is we need to grab this bunny. Think you can get me? Boing! Alright, so... Oh my gosh, they're just memories of Super Mario Gap. Wow. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, are you kidding me? What? <laughs> okay, okay. So I may be making a big deal out of this, but listen to me. I've been doing test runs of this video. In my last test run, I spent like four minutes trying to catch this guy. Okay? It's just the fact that I got him in like the first, like, 20 seconds. Just what? Oh my gosh, alright. <laughs> Memories of Gusty Garden come flying back to me. Okay. Don't expect to catch me so easily next time. One I time. won't. I won't. One time I did seven seconds. Alright guys, so let's grab our first star today and our first star of the engine room. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. We got a bunny! In like five seconds. Says it. My gosh. How did that even work? It was like ridiculous. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I am just. I am just confused and so happy at the same time. Wow. Okay. On that happy note, uh, let's go back and do the Gold Leaf Galaxy and get our second Oh. <laughs> it's not Christmas, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's the 5th of December, actually. Alright, cataract back to the skies. And it's you. And I think you guys know how much I absolutely despise cataract. Just saying, if you put the two folders down. Yes. Okay, um, that was a bit <laughs> Yeah, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so. Astounded by that. Uh, but yeah. You guys know how much I absolutely hate Cataclacks if you watched episode 12. So this had to be a fun galaxy heal, a fun mission, I should say. Alright. Found this. Yeah, so we have, we have this little dude right here. See if he'll, he'll be as kind as to lend us his bill. N not his money bill, like, like his actual bill, like... His mouth. Anyway, I think those are in his mouth. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so this this mission all has to do with you know Cataclax and them launching you up to the skies. And, oh my gosh, that's actually the name of it. I did not plan that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and well, I'm a game designer. Okay, and while it obviously I'm not 20 years old and working in a professional job yet, I am quite knowledgeable about the subject. And you see, I just think that this whole uh, use of cataclysms in this galaxy is so smart by Nintendo's side. I really just wanted to talk about it for a bit. Okay, so essentially, uh, we we were uh, first introduced to cataclysms in a secret mission in the, um, yeah, in, in the Beach Bowl Galaxy back in the kitchen, which was quite a while ago. I I'm literally holding up there, and it just made me go in circles, that was weird. Uh, but if I can con continue what I was saying. Uh, now, since it was a secret mission, uh, there was a very good chance that, uh, most people 
haven't already done it. Uh, heck, I it took me like forever to figure out that you could. Uh, well, I had to go to do it. So chances are they never used catagrags before. But uh, I think this really does um, a good job at introducing what catagrags are and what they do. Because, well, obviously you got that first catagrag in its pen. You know, giving you a safe place to experiment. And now you got the crack right there, in a pen, safe to experiment, you know, and... Okay, uh, I, I, I do... Okay, over here, please. Over here. Okay, not... Don't, please... Billy, you're really testing my luck. patience. Right oh, now. it's me. Okay. Over here, please. Uh, but yeah, I really did want to commend Nintendo. Uh, at doing this because I think you know the Lily. Okay, I hate cataquacks. It is official, people. I hate cataquacks. They are trying to in. They are trying <laughs> to stop me from saying how good Nintendo is. It's like they hate the creators or something. Oh, oh my gosh! See, here's the thing. I'm trying to like get their attention, but like you have to be right next to them. <laughs> okay, just get through the snail hall hallway. Okay, but yeah. So you know, obviously, it's using a previous mechanic that we have seen before, and if not, we have just learned. Uh, and seeing how much you can really understand and f flex, f fl flunky, flunky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and you know, use the concept. You know. Because just really expanding upon, uh, you know, thinking outside the box is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, now if I can actually speak today, let's let's go. Okay. So yeah, now this is our last uh, main portion of the galaxy, as you can see right here. I suggest taking out these moles, as they will really frustrate you later if you don't. <laughs> okay, try that. Yeah, try to kill this mole, especially. This one is important. And this one, too. Okay. Now you need this cataclysm right here to follow you. And to hit you up here and grab the species. Now, next what you need to do is have this cataclysm see you again. Get over here and make it, uh, make you fly up to the tower. <laughs> um, so yeah. Next you want to fly up here. Okay, and go to the flowers, and you just say that these flowers look so good. Like, not eating or anything, but I, I just mean, like, I think this part of the galaxy looks so beautiful. Like, with the, with the sky, and the flowers, and the bees, and the grass, and the nature, I don't know. Anyways, enough about grass and nature. Let's just ride this uh, Wheel of Fortune to death and grab a second star today in the Gold Leaf Galaxy. All right, Micah, give us thy words of wisdom. Um, uh, this is, um, this is a, I cannot talk anymore. <laughs> I'm not even sure what he just said, but okay. There is a robot in the level. Engine room. Engine room. Engine room. Yes, there is, an, there is a robot in the engine room. That is, is a true statement. Anyways, so as I said, there is five stars in this, uh, five missions or five stars uh, in this dome here. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. There are five stars in, in this galaxy, okay? And you now we're gonna be doing all five of them here today. Now three of them are like, you know, normal missions. You know, like the last few that we've been doing here today. However, um, the you know fourth and fifth one, uh, fourth is going to be a secret stall, and then the fifth one, that's gonna be a uh, comet. So yeah. Anyways. Oh my gosh, this thing, this place is infected by mushrooms, oh my gosh, mushrooms everywhere. Yeah, so we do have these clouds here, which you cannot stand on just as normal Mario. Yes, you can stand on them as B Mario, and they have rain coming out of them. 
So you do want to watch out for that because, you know, it will take away your bee mushroom and, you know, all that not-so-good stuff. So, yeah. Now, what you want to do is get a peel and grab your bee shroom. Then you want to fly over here to these petals. Now, oh no, this one is laying on it. What are we going to do? Well, you can either, you know, just do the normal way and fly around it. Or you could be Super Indiana Jones Spy 101's Time Zillion. Yeah, and then just, you know, fly on it. Which is what I originally did. Yeah. Whereas what you need to do over here is you just need to fly on top of these clouds, do some easy platforming, like seriously, you cannot get much easier than this right here. You know, with the, oh my gosh, you all are absolutely going bonkers. What is wrong with you? Oh no, whatever shall we do? This mean mole took, took over all observation decks. Yeah, so, kind of giving a uh, prelude to our boss here, and yes, so is a boss in this galaxy, by the way, uh, that we're going to be facing here in just a minute. Right. So yeah, we just need to go over here, ground pound, go on to, go on to this, okay, uh, nope, Mario, nope. Nope, oh my gosh, this game really does hate me today. Well, technically, it's not... It's not that bad today, technically, because, you know... We caught a... We caught the bunny in, like, five seconds. Oh my gosh, that was... That was insane. I don't know how that even happened. Oh, but yeah, so we just need to climb this... Climb this towel here, as you can see. And quickly do this here. Alright. Just quickly grab this mystery coin, which will make an arrow. Ground pound. And let's finish this. Because I'm Lucina now. I'm anyway, so yeah, we just need to butt pound that. Go on this vine and... Hoi! Oh no, guys, it's mole. Holy moly, it's a mole. Guys, it's a mole. It's a mole. Oh no, it's a mole. Guys, it's not good. It's a mole. Holy moly, it's a mole. Okay, I think, I think the joke on it scores by now. Okay, see so now. Uh, this boss is incredibly easy. If you have a B-Shoom. <laughs> However, once you lose your B-Shoom, uh, it gets uh, significantly tougher. Uh, all you need to do is just, you know, climb up here and then ground pound on its shell, as you can see. And uh, you just need to do that uh, three times. However, once you do it twice, he's just going absolutely bizarre. Like, look at how many times he's firing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Watch out for those bubbles. Okay. So now those have risen. They've risen up to the challenge. Just need to jump over here. Okay. Jump up here. And let's finish this. Oh my gosh. That was. That was one heck of a. Death! Wow, we just, just made him explode. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's collect our third star today. Holy moly, guys! We have killed a mole. And we also got a star, by the way. So that happened, too. Yeah. Alright, so let's go back into the Gold Leaf Galaxy and get our fourth and fifth star. Of course, since these are side stars, they should not take as long as, you know, these normal missions. So, yeah, we're almost done here. And... Yes, soon we will go over uh, that random mystery coin that you guys really want to know about. In fact, it's our next stall here. Uh, the mystery stall of the second uh, mission here, Cataract to the Skies. So, what you need to do here is uh, just go over here, and you need, uh, you need to go to the sling stall and fly over 
uh, fly over. Oh my gosh, that guy isn't even pointing me. He's supposed to be an enemy, mate? Because I, I don't know if he's supposed to be an enemy, because he's not dealing damage. Oh my gosh, worst enemy in the game. <laughs> yeah, you need to fly over heal and grab the speed shoot. So, yeah. Now, I was looking all around here for the mystery mushroom. I was like, what am I doing wrong? I look everywhere. <laughs> so, what my original question was, okay. Does that have something to do with that, uh, you know, coin? Because, you know, I thought, well, it's possible that that's just a design oil or, you know, it's just something random. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, so, you know, I jerked it out. And, you know, you can just fall down here using your bee mushroom and spin and fly over here. Oh. And leads into a pipe. So I was thinking, oh, cool. We have a good chance of this. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, shoot. This better not be what I think it is. And it was what I think it is. It's just a stall bit gavel. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of stupid why they did that. I don't know why. It's so tough to get. And you really do have to explore to find this area. And I really do think that this should be a, like, side stall. But it's not. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Okay, I uh, scroll over here. I swear, if we die, I just <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so that place right there is ju is just a cavern with stall. It's, it's nothing, nothing more to it. It's just boring like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's. That's, that's all that's there. So, yeah, now you may be wondering, Well, then, where's the actual thing? Because I thought we were looking for Mr. Star, so what are we gonna do? And, well, it's actually easier than you may think. All you need to do is just walk around this tree. No, I'm not even kidding. You just need to walk around this tree and see, Oh, look, it's a bubble maker! Let's see if we can go into this bubble. Oh, look, we can! Oh, look, look at that bell. Gee, I wonder what I need to do. Oh, I just need to touch it. Cool. All right, now all we need to do is just fly and collect all these things. With exactly no timer whatsoever. Yeah, I know it so may sound like there's a timer. But no, there was like no timer to this thing. I have never run out of time while doing this mission. It's frustrating. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I kind of put a lot of effort into something that was extremely easy, but... Well, at least I could answer your questions about that mystery coin, because I haven't found that anywhere else on the internet so far. Anyways, let's grab our fourth star today, and we got a star! Micah, give us your words of wisdom. Um, no one last star. Yep. So yeah, we have collected four stars here in the Gold Leaf Galaxy. I would say that that is quite an accomplishment for one day. But you know what? We're going to take it one step further. We're going to collect a fifth star. And we're going to be uh, racing a cosmic foe here. Obviously racing, racing cosmic Mario. I'm just saying, uh, I just want to say I have another words of wisdom. Alright, Micah, give us your new words of wisdom. Now we're having 68 stars. Yeah. After we do this, we're gonna have 68 stars. Good math, Maker. Good math. Alright, well, let's fly here and... Bring it on. Now. Alright, let's... Let's go. Two. One. Go! Alright, so now... Uh, this race against Cosmic Mario actually isn't that hard. You don't even need to do what I'm doing right now. All you need to do is just do the normal jumps, and you'll be fine. You know, cut corners like as if you're in an actual racing game. You know, jump precisely. Uh, don't try to collect the stupid one up here. Believe me, just don't. 
Um, and then, you know, make a long jump right there, and you should be fine, supposedly. Anyways, let's finally collect our final star today. So! Da, 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 da. And we got a star, and I will see you next time on Super Mario Galaxy!